Thomas Carlyle writes in this book, Heroes and Hero Worship. He places our Nabi, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, as his number one hero prophet. Number one. And he writes that every new idea originates in the mind of one. In one man's mind, it dwells. One man in the full world. It will do little good if he takes up a sword and propagates it. You have to first get your sword, the sword of intellect. As Allah says in the Quran in Surah Nahal, chapter 16, verse 125. Invite all to the way of thy Lord with wisdom and beautiful preaching and argue with them and reason with them in the ways that are best and most gracious. Thomas Carlyle is talking about the sword of intellect. Today, Islam is conquering the hearts, not with the sword of steel, but with the sword of intellect, with the sword of peace. There was a survey done, which was given in the Reader Digest Almanic book in the 1984, as well as Prince with magazine. And this survey gave the increase in the major world religions in a span of 50 years. From 1934 to 1984, in a span of 50 years, the increase in the major world religion. And number one religion that increased maximum was Islam, 235%. Christianity, only 47%. I am asking the question, which war took place between 1934 and 1984, which converted millions of non-Muslims to Islam? Which war? Which war? Today, the fastest growing religion in the world is Islam. The fastest growing religion in America is Islam. The fastest growing religion in Europe is Islam. However much they try to suppress Islam, that much it grows. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Imran chapter 3 verse 54, Makar Allah, wallahu khairul makreen. They planned and plotted. Allah too planned. Allah is the best of planners. You know, after 9-11, the media is saying Islam is the religion of terrorism, Muslims are terrorists. After 9-11, in a span of nine months, in America alone, 34,000 Americans accepted Islam. <laughs> According to Johan Redley, in Europe alone, in a span of 10 months, more than 20,000 Europeans accepted Islam. Today, the media says Islam subjugates the women. Islam does not give women their due rights. Do you know? Out of the people accepting Islam, two-thirds of the people are women. I'm asking who is forcing the American woman to accept Islam? Who is forcing the European woman to accept Islam? Allah promises in the Quran, in no less than three different places. Allah promises in Surah Fatah, chapter number 48, verse number 28. In Surah Tawbah, chapter number 9, verse number 33, and Surah Saf, chapter number 61, verse number 9. That Allah has sent his messenger with the religion of truth so that it will prevail over all the other religions, over all the other religions, over all the other isms, whether it be Christianism, Judaism, Hinduism, Buddhism, Socialism, Atheism, Modernism. Islam is destined to supersede all. Kulle. Master them all. <laughs> How am I the Muslims don't like it? And the ending of the other verse is different. Allah says, <laughs> Allah says in Surah Fatah, chapter number 14, verse number 23. Over all the other religions, whether it be Judaism, Christianism, Hinduism, Buddhism, Socialism, Modernism, Islam is destined to supersede all, Kulli, master them all, and enough is Allah as a witness. I would like to end my talk with the quotation of Dr. Adam Pearson. Dr. Adam Pearson said that people worry that one day nuclear weaponry will fall in the hands of the Arabs, they fail to realize that the Islamic bomb, the bomb of peace, has already been dropped. It fell the day Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was born.
We would so beautiful things by this man. Prophet Muhammad, may peace be upon him. He taught us to love and to care for each other. That is the sunnah of the chosen one.